Hey guys, so it's Marquita from At Home with Kita. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a simple and easy rope basket that costs about $6 to make. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a bucket. I purchased mine from the dollar store. They had a ton of varieties, but I chose this one because of the size, so it's gonna fit perfectly in the space. You're also gonna need rope. This is the one that I purchased from Lowe's for between five and six bucks. You're also gonna need some scissors and a glue gun. So just start by unraveling a little bit of your rope and basically just pick a spot to start in. I started kind of in the middle back. Uh, I wasn't as neat with it because I knew it was going to be kind of turned around facing the back. So I wasn't really particular about how that looked. I actually had a spot that I didn't quite like the spacing with. So if that happens, all you're basically going to do is just grab a little bit of the glue from the glue gun and um, just insert it into that slot where you don't like the spacing. And then once you get it in there, then you're just going to squeeze it together and just allow time for it to dry. And just repeat that as necessary because I had several spots where the spacing wasn't quite even. And so uh, when I did that, it, it gave me the look I was looking for. I mean, this basket is so easy to make. You really can't mess it up because all you're doing is just wrapping rope around the bucket. So uh, it's pretty simple to do. All right, so I've reached the top and I have this last little piece here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. I didn't go all the way up to the top because I wanted a little bit or a little strip of white showing at the top of my basket. So I just decided to stop almost um, at the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the handles. I'm actually gonna give them a little bit of a decorative touch. I actually had some rope left over from a previous project. So I'm gonna use that to make some braided handles for the basket. I'm going to start out by measuring the rope so I can see exactly how much rope I'm going to need to be able to make the braid the length that it needs to be. Once I get it all measured, I'm just adding a little hot glue here so that way it can seal the ends. I also added just a little bit of hot glue to the surface so that way the rope can stick to it and it'll make it a lot easier for me to braid. Now I'm just going to measure it out just to make sure it fits. I'm going to actually cut it in half, so I'll add a little bit of glue in the middle and seal it up just to make it a little bit easier and kind of forego a step, uh, cut it in half, and then I'm going to go ahead and add it to the basket. So just repeat for the other handle on the other side, and that's it. You're done. These baskets look so amazing. They're so functional, they look great, but they can tend to be a little bit pricey if you buy them from the store. So making one is the next best thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for a lot more DIYs just like this.